So I did say that I have some minor gripes with Tekken 8 and they are minor in the grand scheme of things, but I still want to address them. So there is only three points that I want to go over, but there are three glaring issues that I find of the game. One of them may be unfair to bring up right now because the game is brand new, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. So I'll start with that one and that is balance. The balance in this Tekken game is kind of all over the place. I would say it's nowhere near as balanced as Tekken 7 and even though Tekken 7 had many years to refine itself, I think it's still fair to point out that there are some characters in this game that are just way too powerful. Now to begin, I believe Dragonoff is absurd. Dragonoff players are getting away with murder right now, the character is way too powerful, he does way too much damage and he's way too plus on block. I have figured out how to step a lot of his things but the fact remains that the options and the devastating amount of damage that this guy can do to you is absolutely absurd. To say that he's overtuned would be an understatement and I think that even though he had a nerf already he needs another nerf. I would nerf some of his frames and I would nerf some of his damage. His damage is just ridiculous and the amount of plus that this guy gets is too much. There's also some other characters like King, Asuzena, Victor, Devil Jin, Jin that are just ridiculous. There's strong characters across the board in this game. I mean I play Feng Wei and he's very annoying for people to fight. I don't particularly like fighting him. But I don't feel like Feng Wei is overwhelming. A character like King is very very simple to use. I don't know why people are saying King is technical, he's not. King is very very simple to use. A character like Victor has a lot of stupid options and a lot of high damage and I just think across the board right now the balance is not really being distributed fairly. You have characters like Zafina and Panda who are at the bottom of the tier list and even though they can still win matches it's very very clear that they are in need of some buffs. So I do think that the balance needs to be addressed sooner rather than later because certain characters in this game are very frustrating to deal with. They're letting people get away with murder in my estimation and I would like to see the Tekken team take some action with that particularly with Dragonoff. Dragonoff is just absurd. My second gripe with Tekken 8 is to do with the rage quitting but it's also to do with the point distribution online. Now I know a lot of people don't particularly care about ranked, I know a lot of people don't particularly care about points and I know a lot of people don't particularly care about the rank that they're at. Well, I'm one of the players that likes to have the nice big shiny rank. I play ranked for the reason to rank up. I'm not entirely sure why people are playing rank if they're not particularly bothered about their points or their title. That's what casual mode is for, but to each their own. I like to go for the big nice title. Now, I would have been far beyond the rank that I'm at right now if it wasn't for the rage quitters. And I know Michael Murray and Harada were talking about legalities and how to go about it. But what I don't understand is, yeah, you can ban these players and that's all well and good. But why? Why did you not come up with a system where players are not given their points for the other person quitting? I mean, if you were going to go down the route of not penalizing the person that quit, at least give the person that didn't quit their points. I have spent hours playing this game online and being unable to get out of Raijin because four times in a row, I shit you not, I'm pretty sure I'll go on recording. If I haven't edited it into this video, you'll see it at some point. I got to a promotion match four times and every single time they would rage quit. So then my next promotion match would stop and I might lose it. And I'm like, okay, cool, I've lost some points. Then I'll win another match. I'll go back to my promotion. And then the person that I'm promoting against will rage quit and then send me some stupid message like you're not promoted against me. And it's just like, how did you guys not think of this? It is infuriating. I mean, Tekken is already hard enough. It is difficult to play at the Raijin rank. There's a lot of really, really excellent players. And then you have idiots plugging. And it's like, who over at Namco did not think to just give the winner their points? Now, I know this might sound like some whiny rant, but I do think it's worth mentioning. What is the point in having a ranked mode when all of the ranks are fraudulent? There's pluggers on Twitter saying that they have ranked up to Mighty Ruler and Battle Ruler. But these are the same people that we have on video plugging. You want to do that? I got you. I got you. And so it makes the ranks fraudulent. There's no point in having these titles if pluggers can do whatever they want and the people that are trying to play the game properly are just being penalized. Now, if I was a plugger like the rest of these filthy scumbags, I would probably be at the top of the ranking board right now. But unfortunately, I just don't have it in me to take that away from somebody. And it also, it defeats the purpose of the game. I don't know how much of a bitch you have to be to be losing on a game and then pull the plug out in a fit of rage. Like how much of a bitch do you have to be to do that? Genuine question. I know I sound annoyed 
annoyed right now. But just imagine a grown man or a grown woman or even a teenager, they're sitting there playing a fucking video game and you pull the plug out when you're losing. Are you an imbecile or something? Like, what is wrong with you? It's one thing to do one and done. I also don't like that, but that's something completely different. I wouldn't lump those people in with the rage quiz. But to actually close the application or pull the plug out, you have got to be bitch made on so many levels. I don't care who that offends. You have to think about it. It's a video game, mate. Just play the game like you're ruining the player experience. And I know it sounds like I am bitching, right? I actually Actually, I am bitching right now, I'll be honest with you. But you just have to go through the motions and think about it. Someone that is losing the game pulls the plug. But it doesn't end there. When someone pulls the plug on Tekken 8, you lose your win streak. So for example, I was playing today and I had a nine game win streak and someone pulled the plug on me and I lost my nine game win streak. That even blows my mind even more how they knew that this game was going to be primarily played online. And the online, basically for ranked, is dog shit. The connection is good, but the whole reason you play ranked is to rank up, but you didn't have systems in place to help people. As if you didn't know, given what it was like on Tekken 7, I mean, it was nowhere near as bad as this. This is the worst I've ever seen for any fighting game ever. And I've been playing fighting games since I was yay high. This is by far and large the worst rage quitting situation I've ever seen. And to be honest with you, I'm not entirely shocked about it because Tekken 8 is selling very well. A lot of people that played Mortal Kombat have come over, a lot of people that have played Street Fighter have come over and I think a lot of them are having a rude awakening that this game is extremely difficult and extremely frustrating. On top of that there are loads of other players from other games like FIFA, Call of Duty, Fortnite that are trying Tekken for the first time and these guys just cannot take losing. Losing is part of the fight. That's how you get better at the game. Now, if you want a one and done, yes, I have my opinion on those people, but I'm not here to shit on those people today. I'm here to shit on rage quitters. Just learn to play the game. It's not that deep. Just play the bloody game. <laughs> I know it's frustrating for me because what I was trying to do today is I was trying to get to Tekken Emperor and then put it in this video, but I couldn't. <laughs> Just every time I went to a rank up, they'd plug on me and then I might lose a game fair and square. And I was in this endless loop of trying to rank up to Kishin when I should have been long beyond that. But then to make matters worse, not only do I lose my win streak, which affects the amount of points I get in the next game, but for whatever reason, randomly, Tekken will penalize you 1000 points. And I don't understand why I do not understand the logic. So I was playing and I got plugged on. And then the next match I lost. And then the next match I went into the first round, I ended up winning the set, but the first round, the first match I lost and I lost a thousand points. So the next two matches that I did, I gained about 510 points back. So I got it back. But why did I lose 1000 points for losing one game? I don't understand the logic here. Someone could break down to me how Tekken distributes points online. It would be much, much appreciated because it makes no sense to me. I've been told the more wins you get, the more points you get. That seems to be very inconsistent because I kept on getting 300 points and then when I would lose I'd lose 500 so I didn't really understand it there and then to lose a thousand out of the blue it's like oh my god and then I'm playing again it's happened twice now and I lost a thousand points in the first game and then a 500 in the second now I don't mind losing but I just do not understand the point distribution it makes no sense to me it seems very very random Namco has not provided a detailed breakdown of how points are distributed and so for the people that do want to get a nice shiny rank like myself it's very very irritating when you're playing a game and you have no idea like for example the ranked match could start and it could say if you win this round you'll gain these many points and if you lose the round this is how much you're going to lose and at least you're like okay cool now the point distribution might still be messed up but at least there's an indication of what we're looking at right now we're kind of swinging in the dark it's nice that they put a little timeline so you can see where your friends are and what rank you're going towards and how close you are to it but it's not good enough they need to improve that having the rage quitters and then that system together is a nightmare it is an absolute nightmare nightmare it actually puts you off playing rank i was sitting talking to king j yesterday before we did our talk and we were both like i can't be bothered that the whole point of ranked is allowing players to rank up for their skill and we just decide to go to the gym in the end we're like do you know what this is pointless like I, we can't finish games people keep on plugging and then when we lose we lose bare points and it doesn't even make sense why we're losing so many points and then the third thing and the last thing that i really wanted to rant about and this is going to be a very short video it's just things off the top of my head that i'm unhappy about with this tech game you know to be fair because I've, I've ranted on Mortal Kombat 1 and even though there's not a lot to really pick apart of Tekken and these are all things that I think that they can fix fairly easily the last thing that I wanted to 
talk about was for whatever reason, and this has been in Tekken for a very long time. Maybe some of you are new to Tekken and you don't know this, but there's this thing in Tekken where if you're on the player one side, you can't sidestep certain attacks. But if you're on the player two side, you can sidestep it very, very easily. Now, I don't understand why these inconsistencies exist. There should be no reason why I have more of an advantage playing on player two than the person playing on player one. And I shouldn't lose my advantage if it switches around. It is absolutely shambolic that it's been in Tekken for so many years and it's still there. Now there are players pointing it out. I saw the main man pointing it out on his channel. And if the Tekken team are aware of this, they need to fix that. Because the minute you side switch against certain characters, and there's certain characters where I know it happens, you're like, okay, cool. They're gonna do this move and now I can't move. But obviously you've trained your brain and the muscle memory to sidestep and backdash certain attacks. And when that doesn't work, that creates this inconsistent game where it's not really skill that is being rewarded. It's just your game isn't functioning as it should. I mean, there's no real logical reason why a move can be sidestepped on player one and not be sidestepped on player two. It's the exact same character on the exact same terrain. It's a very, very, very weird mechanic. In it. I don't even know if it's a mechanic or a bug. I don't really know what to call it, but it's been in Tekken for the longest time. Now, I know being on certain parts of the stage means that you can't sidestep things. For example, if you're at the side wall or if you're at specific parts of the stage, there's sometimes where you can't sidestep something effectively because you're being obstructed and that's all well and good. But what I'm talking about is when you're in an open terrain and someone throws a move out and you try to sidestep into the foreground or the background and it works on one side but it doesn't work on the other side that makes no sense that's a minor grab because there's very very few moves across the roster where this happens when it does happen it's annoying because it's kind of hard to train your brain to not sidestep when you've been doing it for years but my biggest gripe for this game right now is that although the netcode is amazing although most things in this game are amazing the online situation with these fucking babies that cannot take losing is just being ruined there's a lot of streamers and a lot of tekken players that i've spoken to where they're like i cannot be bothered to play ranked because I'm constantly getting penalized for them rage quitting on me. And I'm starting to think that when they rage quit on me and I lose my win streak and then I lose the next game, maybe that's why I'm losing a thousand points. Maybe the game thinks I rage quitted. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense, but it's putting people off. Now for the people that are going to be in the comment section going, wow, wow, that's fun. That's all well and good. But the name of the game is ranked, right? If this shit existed in Mortal Kombat, we would have ranted about it as well. So we shouldn't give Tekken a free pass. The developers over at Namco should have seen this coming. And if they didn't see it coming, fair enough. But they need to fix it soon. I'm really not interested in players getting banned. I don't care. They can do that in their own time. What they need to do is give the victor their points, okay? You don't even have to penalize these people if you don't want to, if you're unsure about how to implement it. Just give the person that didn't plug their points now maybe the game can't differentiate who plugged and it just counts you both and if that's the case then the infrastructure also needs to change around that it is just a demoralizing experience it's a lame and it's annoying because I could be doing 10 different things right now which I've gone on to do I decided to make this rant video I turned it off I was like do you know what <laughs> that's enough that's it I don't want to play anymore and let's say that the Tekken team don't address this Yes, they've got an amazing product. It's not 10 out of 10. This is one of the reasons why. But this is something that would actually put me off playing the game. If this situation continues into season two, for example, I don't think I'm going to want to play it very much. It's very, very irritating, first of all, to not lock people into a set. And it's very, very irritating to not punish pluggers. And like I said, I don't want to make this about the one and done people because we've spoken about it twice on this channel now. You guys have your sentiments towards it. I have my sentiments towards it. As far as I'm concerned, where you guys say that oh it's not that deep it's just a game I also say oh it's not that deep do you really care about losing your points you know there's two trains of thought here now there is a casual mode that exists that matches you up with people and it does the exact same thing it just doesn't have points the fact of the matter is is that I like taking your points and you want to preserve them and so we both care we just care about different things I care about the fight and you care about appearing to look good now I know that's going to rub some people the wrong way but for me, it's like, yo, there's ranked there and there's casual there. They're two separate modes. If you care so much, then play casual. There's less highly skilled people playing casual. And so you will have that feeling of being very dominant and winning the matches. But in ranked mode, like I've said a hundred times, it's shark infested waters. And I don't believe people where they're like, oh, I've got an emergency. That's all nonsense. I mean, first of all, most of my friends have kids. And so when their kids are awake, they're not playing PlayStation. If their kid randomly wakes up, fine, I get it. But a lot of the people that I read saying, oh, this happens and this happens. Look, you're, you're more than welcome to type that. And I'm always real with you guys. I don't lie. 
I don't believe you, okay? <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. I don't believe you. I believe that you're getting molly whopped. You want to protect your points. You care about your points. It is that deep for you. You want to appear powerful, and so you leave the game. Now, I said I wasn't going to make this about the one and dones, but clearly I'm in a bit of a mood right now, and I've gone ahead and done that. I'm sure I'll get flamed for it, but it is what it is. But my point with this like rant really is the rage quitters. They are actually ru they're actually ruining the game. It's really really annoying Namco. Sort it out. Like I said, I don't care if you ban them. I don't care if you take their points away. Just give me my bloody points. I do not want to have to deal with the bullshit that I've just dealt with, with bloody promotions. They actually barred me from getting a promotion. That's what it felt like. It felt like they helped. there was a wall of rage quitters in my way and it was infinite. Like in Helldivers, it was the belly of a titan. I could, no matter how many bullets I shot, shot at them, they just wouldn't get out of the way. And now I've turned it off. Now I'm going to go to the gym now. I'm going to go study some Japanese or talk to a friend or do something else. I don't want to play a stupid game now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's my rant. Do you know what? I'll, I'll probably just put this up now. But no one wants to hear this nonsense. I'll probably put it up around midnight. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Take care and fuck the rage quitters.